Do you use Paint Scout to estimate painting projects for your residential painting business? Today, I want to show you how to automatically create the quote templates in Paint Scout. So when your estimator shows up to the house to estimate that project, all the customer's information is already there pre-populated and the estimator is able to hop right into performing the quote and building it as opposed to having to do all that unnecessary data entry. So if that's of interest, stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris. I am the owner of Boolean Automation, where it is our mission to free you up to do what you love. And we do that in two primary ways. The first is custom automation, consulting packages and implementation. And the other way is through our Boolean review software that completely automates the Google review process for B2C businesses. In particular, if you're a painting company or a home service business, I'm telling you, you have to check out our software. It has the highest conversion rate in that industry. And I'm not talking about just regular, boring Google reviews, five-star reviews to, for that matter, but I'm talking about reviews that tell stories, that have pictures of your team, that mention your team members by name. That's what our system puts on complete autopilot. So if that's of interest, you can click the link below, visit our website, BooleanReview.com. Without further ado, let's get into this Paint Scout automation process. All right, so the first thing I always recommend is making a diagram of what it is that you want to do. So because we're talking about painting industry here, first thing is you have to identify what is going to be the trigger that's going to initiate creating the Paint Scout quote. So in this case, we're going to book an estimate. And after that estimate is booked, we're going to populate the information that went into that estimate into Paint Scout. We're going to, you can use, you know, Calendly, uh, HubSpot has a meeting link. You can book me many different booking tools, but whatever tool you use, I would recommend finding one that integrates with Zapier or Make. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use a tool called You Can Book Me. They're fairly inexpensive. They do have a free version with some, doesn't allow for as much customization, but I'm gonna hop in here to show you how I would recommend doing this. First thing we're gonna do, we're going to hop over to You Can Book Me, create a booking page here, and we can have these be just defaulting to one hour. Click next name it, and we we're gonna say it's an address, and we'll do TBD for now, create my booking page. All right, so we now have a booking page. You're going to go to the booking form, and again, keep in mind, if you're not using You Can Book Me, the same principles apply to whatever form you are using, but generally, you need the customer's first name, last name, email, their phone number, so we're going to do a short answer here for phone, and we're gonna call this phone, and then we'll go back to the questions here. Also recommend doing a project type. So we'll say project type, and this would be proj, project underscore type. And, you know, maybe you've got a couple other questions that you're asking, was the house built before 1978? So we could do a multiple choice. And we're going to call this the lead paint question. And this is just going to be a yes or no. And again, you could do many other questions, but for the sake of this automation, this is this will be plenty for us. We need the address that we're going to. So the last thing here would be, uh, last couple things would be uh, street. And we're going to do, duplicate this a couple times. This one is going to be city. state and the last one will be zip all right so we've got everything that we need for this booking page so now we're going to the zapier template and again because what we mapped out is we want to book an estimate when that estimate is booked we want to automatically create the paint scout quote so i can go into zapier here and this new uh, ai tool is kind of cool we've been playing around with this a little bit but you can say when an estimate is booked in, or we're gonna, I think we're gonna call it an appointment. Appointment is booked in you can book dot me automatically create a quote 
in Paint Scout. And so we're going to see what it comes up with. And last time I checked, yeah, so Paint Scout actually has a private, uh, is currently not supported. So they, there is a, a private directory that you have to get added to, which I can help you out with. But you click the, uh, you can book me. So that's going to be our trigger. Uh, we don't need this stencil one, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But what we will add is if you search for Paint Scout, there isn't by invite only. So I'll put the invite link to this down in the description below. And so now we've got our trigger, which is you can book me, and our Paint Scout, which is the second piece of this. So in the trigger step, we do need to sign in to our you can book me account. So we're going to go ahead and log in through you can book me. So it's telling you how to do that. You have to go grab the you can book me ID from within inside of you can book me. We're going to go to the top and go to email address integrations. You will have to have the admin account in order to do this. So you're going to go to integrations and then uh, on the integrations tab here, we're going to click Zapier and click connect. And then we're going to copy our API key and we will paste it right in here, continue. And that uh, is going to connect our You Can Book Me account. So if we click continue now, you'll see that it says it will find the booking page that we created, which we called, if we go back to bookings, I believe I made a duplicate here. So it's the 73 is the one that we want. Uh, no, it's not. It's actually the 31. So 31 is the one that has all the questions. I'm going to go ahead and delete 73 because we don't need duplicates there. Click delete. All right. So we're doing the You Can Book Me 31. So I go back to Paint Scout. We're going to select the You Can Book Me 31. Continue. And now it's listening to see when a uh, for our project is submitted. So I'm going to go actually click on the You Can Book Me calendar here. And we are going to book this for next Thursday, 11 a.m. And we're going to go ahead and put in our favorite Darth Vader. And his email is darthvader at booleanreview.com. Phone number is 555-123-456-78. Project type. We're going to say this is an interior project type. Yes, the house was built before then, and we're going to call it 123 East Galaxy Way in Naboo. And we're going to say this is in Idaho, and the zip code is 12345. All right, so I confirm the booking. And that is the necessary step in order to get the trigger here to catch the test. So we tested the trigger and it's listening. And here is the one that just came in. So now in Paint Scout, we can go ahead here and we're going to say that what we want to do when this is triggered is we want to actually create a quote. So we're gonna go in here to create a quote, continue the account. We're going to connect it to one of our accounts here and continue. And then now it's going to say, when is the quote? So from all these things, we're going to do it. Uh, so this, as it says down here, start time and date of the booking. So we can select that. The quote type, this is where we can use the project type that we had in the booking. If I uh, had consistency here between the name of the project type and the project type that I put in on the booking form here. So like I would recommend back on this page, something that I should have done was made the project type, instead of having it be a short answer question, we should have made it a, um, we're gonna add in a new one and it's going to be a multiple choice. And we'll go ahead and do this again, project type, project underscore type. And we're going to stick with the same ones that we use inside of Paint Scout. So as you can see here, we've got INTP, INTC, EXTP. So for example, I'm going to go here and do INTP, INTC. And, and the reason I recommend doing that is just, it stands for interior painting, interior cabinets, and exterior painting. So by doing those ones, we can properly map to 
uh, the quote type that we want to pull up inside of Paint Scout. So this is a really cool feature. Um, so I'm going to actually go ahead, if you're like me and you made that mistake, you can go over here and go to the bookings that I already booked. And we're going to click that we want to rebook just to save some data entry here. And we're going to rebook on a different day, Friday the 13th, 1 o'clock. And the project type we're going to use is INTP now. So we confirm that. That's going to process. We can come back to You Can Book Me here and go to Test, Find New Records. And it brings in another one here. And you can see that the project type that came in says INTP. So back to this one, when we're building out the steps here, with the quote type, we can actually go custom and choose that INTP project type, which, so depending on the project type that is selected in the booking form, we can actually pull open that quote type. And not only that, but pull in the quote template as well. Um, in addition to that, we can put, pick the estimators, the estimator that would have been booked in this case. I would, you know, because I'm doing a demo, I'm just going to randomly pick Russ here. Uh, but the contact first name would be Darth, the contact last name, Vader. And we're going to map all of these fields that are coming in from You Can Book Me to the correct um, place inside of Paint Scout. So we get the email address. We get the, there's no alternate emails, really that blank contact address. And uh, this one is the, what we called street. And then contact phone number is our phone. The, we don't have an alternate number, the contact city, contact state. And you continue down this list, map all the rest of these fields. And the integration source, we can leave blank. Contact source, again, if you if you were putting this in the form, uh, if I added more questions, I could have had or continued with that. I also do want to put in the job address fields as well. So this is going to be, in this case, because we do residential, the contact address and job site address are the same. Um, so I can just go ahead and put the same fields there, but you'll see why that's important in a second. So we've got city and state. All right, so we've mapped all the proper fields that we need and we can click continue. And we're gonna go ahead and test this step. So now if I, once this says completed, we can open up Paint Scout. And inside of Paint Scout, if I refresh, you'll see that we have a new quote here on 1013 for Darth Vader. And this is the really, really cool part is that inside here now, you can see that Darth Vader's contact information is completely filled out. The job site address is filled out. And because I set up the quote types inside, the quote types and quote templates inside of Paint Scout, I have a roughly, you know, a partially filled out quote. And now as the estimator, I can just jump in and immediately start adding areas or line items to my quote. So these types of things are huge wins for momentum and just saving time. That useless busy work, if you already had your your admin person put in the contact information of the person, there is no need to have your estimator refill this out. You're going to increase chances of errors happening. So that's why we want to eliminate those things. And from a organizational perspective, if you can identify which project types in your business you have, you can have a quote partially filled out here inside of Paint Scout. So, and the way you do that, by the way, if you haven't set up project types before, is under here with proposals, we have proposal types. We can make the various project types that we have um, match. And I, again, you there might be the instinct of wanting to say interior painting, but if you name the type of proposal the same project type that you're using in other apps in your in your business, you're going to be able to streamline that process. And the same thing goes here. Templates is where you're going to actually build out the content inside of Paint Scout. The last thing, if you want to take this to the next level, is to think what other things do you want to do when an estimate is booked? And so you could do things like send a confirmation text to the customer. And you can do that with a with any system that you know exists or any, any system that, um, that can text customers. You could also say, 
I want to another common one that we have with our painting companies is uh, company cam. So create a company cam project. So company cam project, but the list goes on. I mean, you could say you also want to automatically create a project or a deal inside your CRN system. So create new deal. But if you're intentional about what does our business need to do when an estimate is booked and you map out all these things, now you can go right back to Zapier and say, okay, so we're going to, when an estimate is booked, I can go down this path and just add additional steps. Like I want to add the company cam step, or I want to create a contact or sorry, it'd be HubSpot. So I want to create a contact in HubSpot and we would choose the event uh, contact. So create a contact. And then we're going to do another one here that is create a deal. So we would choose create a deal. But the point is that there's so many different things that happen when an estimate is booked and you can build out this flow to automate and save time in all those little tiny areas so that when your team shows up, all that data entry is done for them. Thank you so much for watching this. If you need more help setting stuff like this up, don't forget to check out the links that I left down below. Feel free to schedule a free 30 minute consultation with me and my team. Be happy to see if there's anything we can do to help you. Also consider subscribing to this channel if you're a painting company or home service business that's looking to automate these mundane tasks. All right, guys, get out there, go build those automations to free up yourself and your team to go do more of what you love.